Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be on Ascension. We have Jedi One going up against Tucson. Bottom left hand corner, we have Jedi One starting as the kind of ugly mustard yellow Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we have Tucson starting as the red Terran. This is BSL season 14, round of eight. The third match between these two, and we are tied at one apiece. If I recall, it's been a while actually before I was able to get in between these two matches. But if I recall, in the previous match, Jedi won, showed some really strong macro, and it just went into the deep late game. On this map, we've seen Tucson play very creatively and play very aggressively at times. This is Ascension. I'm almost wondering if he's going to opt for drops over Jedi One. Jedi One currently positioning his probe towards the front, which suggests maybe we're going to see a 14 Nexus. We'll see if he plops down a gateway for a forward gate instead. But right now, all indicators to me are this pylon's in position to potentially go for a quick nexus to get that early economic push. We'll see how Tucson, if he scouts and if he responds. Ascension, built off Blue Storm, really known for having just massive, yeah, it is gonna be a forward gateway. Just having massive amounts of space in the base to do drops and really I wouldn't put it past Tucson again to get vultures out there. Um, one thing, and of course the other big feature is you got that, little, where is it? A little gap right here. Oop. Tucson, Jedi One is scouting north first. Refinery plopped down before the barracks is even finished. Tucson with, we'll see how he can cover this because it looks like these SEVs may be exposed to the top line. Oh wait, because you want your Marine typically dancing between this slot right there to deal with the initial Zealot pressure. First Zealot being produced. Tucson is scouting at North first. Looks like Jedi One cycling back to get that scout off. Still no movements to plopping down gas, so it looks like this might be... We'll see if it's a second Zealot, in fact. Nope, just kidding. Just a later gas than an anticipated, but first Zealot certainly making its way towards the base with the probe. We'll see how well this probe can actually also draw that Marine out of position. Because if he can draw that Marine north, it could be absolutely devastating. You can see he was initially trying to tap that SCV. The Marine chasing this probe down. The SCV still has not scouted the gateway. Factory's well on the way here. It's one thing with Ascension map distances is what Jedi One, I believe he wants to do is just get, in top, get on top, slow down this SCV, play the match from there. Cybernetic score working in between. Tucson should have eyes now. You can see that there's that forward gate and a second Zealot popping through and running. The two Marines now making their way back towards the protective barrier. The Zealot right on top with that probe. SCVs jumping off. The Marines getting some damage on that Zealot, able to get the base shield, the second Zealot on the way, but an initial slowdown of that factory. That factory's still building, but it does not look like it is going to be sufficient. The three Marines and SCVs defending this, which means an initial vulture will be built. And with that initial vulture and a delay of Dragoons, that often means two dead Zealots and a lack of mid-game map control. First Dragoon being produced. If that Dragoon can get a move on, and press the forward location because of this early vulture. This might end up being some nice early pressure from Jedi One to at least slow down that natural expansion, but look at what Tucson doing in the meantime, going ahead and plopping down that manor engineering bay. The natural expansion, machine shop dropping immediately after, vulture on the hunt, the zealots backing out. The dragoon has been produced. It looks like it is gonna force a cancellation of that engineering bay. The zealots now just trying to hide. now. The Dragoon actually pulling out for Jedi One, so he wants to go ahead and continue to be aggressive. The Vulture moving to the north, but that might open up an opportunity for that Vulture to go ahead and sneak in around to the main. The SCV scout looks like it's gonna get taken out. It got good eyes. Dragoon range also finishing, so the Vulture has snuck around. It's taken no damage. A command center being built interior to the base for Tucson to play a little bit safer. Vulture mine being produced. You have five Marines, and this is going to turn into a rush. This might be an interesting follow-up rush that I have not yet seen. It's going to run headlong into the Zealot Dragoon, so it is going to be scouted rather rapidly. And the Dragoons... Oh, sorry, the Zealots getting right on top of the Marines. 
to stymie this a bit, but there's still an overwhelming amount of firepower here to push this back. And now all of a sudden, Jedi won. He's got that natural expansion building in the background, but he needs to be very careful. You can see he's trying to buy himself some time with this Dragoon. Misfire, not on that Dragoon's side, so able to levy a lot of damage right there. But now Jedi One needs to make sure he has a an attack force to deal with all this, and he might want to even... Again, leaving his Dragoons to that third, this Vulture planting a mine to the north, it still might be able to slip by through that natural expansion. Another Vulture moving forward. So Tucson... Just building a glut of Marines. Has the two Vultures, has mines right on top that actually this mine, I think, might even fire as soon as the next unit here is produced, a zealot being produced to absorb that. The command center floating out, and so Tucson with some interesting mid-game aggression able to go ahead and seal his natural expansion. He's going to be a little bit economically behind where he wanted to be, but not that far. Work account is even, we're moving into the mid-game, and on top of that, with all of Tucson's shenanigans, with the additional number of marines, the mines and everything else, what he's also done is, is he's slowed down and kind of boxed out Jedi One from his third, a quick third. And on top of that, he's got vultures and mines across the map to provide that scouting information to really stymie anything that Jedi One wants to do here as he's moving into the mid game. Jedi One instead relegated to going ahead and getting that robotic facility and that observer out. Tucson now getting a bunker, two marines, you got two marine, two more marines than you need. So sending them out to go ahead and get scouting information just in case. Vulture is also making sure that there weren't any additional sneaky probes that were able to make their way out there. Observer able to see the mines out in the field. The Dragoon's going to start moving forward and clearing them. I think I missed that mine. Looks like the mine drag hit these two Dragoons. In the background, softening them up. Second factory plopped down engineering bay, but now plus one weapons on the way. But Tucson in a really strong economic position. He's kept Jedi One away from a third base for quite a bit of time. And Jedi One now going for that shuttle, that reaver, and shuttle speed. But I think there's going to be plenty. You got a second machine shop dropping down, so I expect there's going to be plenty of siege tanks on Tucson's side of the map to go ahead and deal with that. Also already has missile turrets and he's going ahead and clearing those lurker eggs so that he can funnel troops to either location. Nexus warping in as well, but yeah, Jedi One needs to slow Tucson's economy down because Tucson ahead in the worker count has already got a jump on everything. Plus one weapon's not that far off. It looks like he's getting an academy as well. A few turrets here and there, third factory, but Tucson, as far as that movement of the macro play between Terran and Protoss, he seems to be in a strong position. Observer able to sidle in to go ahead and good, get a good look at the factory count. Get a look at saturation of the main. Seize the... I think it sees the armory. No, just... Armory's just out of the corner of view here. Third Nexus warping in, but this feels like a later... Much later third Nexus. Shuttle scooping up the initial Reaver and two Zealots. Let's see if anything can it see if anything gets accomplished here. A Vulture able to wander in to the third. Sneak a probe kill, but also scout the timing. Seeing the Nexus coming online. So Tucson also getting that critical piece of information. A ways away from being able to really do anything about it right this second, though. <clears throat> Reaver moving in. Looks like it might be able to disrupt some SCVs here, but that's just going to be the second armory. Well, this, actually delaying the second armory might be critical here. Shuttle taking a bit of damage, waiting for that speed. As soon as speed comes online, there's a lot more room to kind of thread. But while I'm saying all this, a huge amount of siege tanks are moving to the north, and it looks like Tucson's going to go ahead and establish position around his third base. Shuttle's making its way there, but honestly, this is... So Tucson may be playing a little bit greedy here. We've seen him play... I think that's what happened in the previous matches. He just played very, very thin with a lot of his defenses. This Reaver wanting to get a shot off on that SCV to potentially slow this expansion down. Does manage to get that shot there. Tank sieging up to the south. Reaver needs to be very, very careful. The last second Jedi 1 scooping that up. 
some mines planted in the way, but now Tucson holding a lot of ground. And typically this is where we, where I've seen other Protoss deal with this is, is by shifting up to Arbiter Tech much more rapidly. That has been a hole I've seen in Jedi One's plays is kind of much, much later Arbiter play. And that might cost him here. Tucson getting that third command center in position, a slew of Dragoons making their way across the map, single file on the high ground to potentially stop this. Tucson wants, or sorry, Jedi One wants to slow Jedi, uh, Tucson's economy down. I'm having trouble saying which group is which. So we do have that third base up. The worker count still just about even, which is bad news for Jedi One. Plus one weapons is online. There's no weapons upgrades currently. So it's just gonna be, it looks like a control group and a half of Dragoons. A Reaver and two Zealots now on the high ground, potentially to dive into this third. A good amount of siege tanks, not a lot of vultures and mines in the way though. And a distance to walk up to reinforce as well. So let's see if Tucson's overstepped. Jedi One does have a l significant supply lead here that is in pure units. Now moving up, trying to clear mines, eating some initial siege tank hits. The Zealots do not have leg speed. They're not able to get on top of the siege tank, so it's going to be Dragoons walking off the high ground, trying to get on top of the siege tanks. The Vultures preoccupying them briefly. The shuttle gets taken out. The Reaver taken out, only able to take out one siege tank, and there is nothing left but a huge amount of Dragoon blood. Between that and the third, it looks like some damage. Maybe got a missile turret out of that and a siege tank, and that was it. A terrible engagement there from Jedi One. However, he is sneaking a fourth, a very aggressive fourth. This is not the fourth you see Protoss typically take, so he's just hoping that goes unscouted to try to catch back up in this match. But with that, Tucson needs to be careful that he doesn't end up getting sealed in his natural expansion, considering the troop count. He does have, we got four, five, six gateways, seven, eight Templar archives coming online. Five factories behind this. Level two weapons, level one armor, just about online. An SCV to the north actually looking to plant a command center. A zealot is going to go ahead and disrupt that, sending it back to home base briefly, able to at least take that SCV out. Zealot Lake Speed is now online. Dragoons holding mid map. Jedi One just trying to defend position, but in the foot race, this is. So here's the thing, like typically, yeah, there's 20 supply difference here, but look at how many siege tanks are on the ground for, for Tucson. Usually you have a lot more vultures in the unit composition at this stage, but this is just a massive amount of siege tanks and they're gonna be highly upgraded in just a moment. And apparently my server connection has been lost. Hopefully I'm still streaming. Hopefully that was just something with Battle.net. We'll continue. See how it goes down the line. Tucson going ahead and grabbing his fourth. Jedi One positioning around. He's not exactly in a position to go ahead and interrupt this. A lot of mines in the way and a lot of siege tanks up on the high ground. Once again, Tucson has an advantageous engagement point. Jedi One walking, trying to clear mines to the north. Somewhat ill-advisable. I'm going to do something uncharacteristic here. For the Twitch audience, I'm going to pause. Move out, stop stream. Restart stream for the Twitch audience. Back. Could be I lost internet. Nope, still there. And skip ahead a little while. Wonder if it's my issue or an issue someplace else. We'll continue with the cast. One of those things where between YouTube and everything else. Anyway, Zelt's getting taken out very rapidly by these vultures. And again, not the best engagement point for Jedi One. In a bit of a funnel, plenty of siege tanks and everything else. Again, trying to ferry some troops up. Maybe got a siege tank out of that. Once again, sent into retreat. 
and the fourth base establishing. So Tucson now in a very commanding position. Has EMP on the way. Wow. A bunch of factories behind this. Plus two weapons, plus one armor. Really has not been stopped at all. Has a huge amount of siege tanks and vultures now diving out. To, let's see if he even recognizes that this four o'clock location. There's no way that Jedi One can defend this. Yes, yeah, so the four o'clock base is going to get ransacked. Some dragoons trying to do something in the north to disrupt, but I don't think Tucson cares. He can go ahead and dive in, take two bases from this position. Single shuttle and reader, but there's no arbiters. There's no high templar. It doesn't look like there's sufficient troops to defend this. But maybe Tucson overstepping, not sending up enough troops. So now walking his way back with the siege tanks back to the low ground, able to get some damage to the nexus down below. Jedi one now at the high ground. Some vultures now streaming in. But actually walking these troops back, thinning out the herd as he's going. He's going to go ahead and resiege. If Jedi One can reinforce rapidly, it looks like instead he was going to try to grab an inside nexus, being very greedy, trying to catch up economically. So I think at this stage, Jedi One's kind of in emergency mode. He's like, let's just try to drop as many nexus as we can to try to stay ahead economically. We'll play refugee style as possible. And there's a drop in the background. Looks like there's going to be plenty of zealots and a dragoon to deal with it. A single cannon getting wiped out there. But Tucson still with a formidable army just gonna swing around to the low ground to go ahead and take out yet another nexus from Jedi One. There are Dragoons to the north, but looks like a Goliath, some Vultures, and a Siege Tank holding that back. Jedi One does have Dragoons to the north, potentially to go ahead and engage. Zelts this time getting a nice grouping, a handful of tanks unseaging to go ahead and deal with it, but that might open up the rest of these Dragoons to go ahead and peel forward and clear out what is left of these siege tanks. That looks like that's going to get cleaned up. So Jedi One loses a Nexus, but at least he's able to reduce the siege tank count briefly. However, if we look at the supply counts to follow, Tucson near 200 at 180 supply, and that's nearly double the supply of Jedi One underneath this. Jedi One's main just about mined out. His natural expansion is still up and running. He's maybe going to be at three bases here, but there's a stream of vultures making their way across the map on the hunt. And the pylon's just coming online. This inside nine o'clock base is extremely exposed. I still don't see any arbiters out in the field. It looks like it was just going to be an attempt at pure gateway, man, but Tucson had the economic lead throughout. Level 3 weapons, level 2 armor online here. Upgrade advantage over the level 1 up weapons, level 1 armor on Jedi 1 side. The Dragoons clearing out some troops, looks like at the 4 o'clock location, but while that was happening, a stream of vultures might even be able to take out the Nexus at the inside 9 o'clock location, dropping a bunch of mines to provide some time. And it looks like just through sheer overwhelming numbers... They are going to be able to take that Nexus out. The Dragoon's trying to follow up. Things are looking grim for Jedi One, down to 45 workers at this stage. Dragoon's trying to clear something out. It seems like every time he puts a Nexus up, Tucson takes it down in the next minute and a half. Trying to re-grab that base at the 4 o'clock location. 200 supply has been hit. Level 3 weapons online. A pause on level 3 armor. You have dropship out in play, you have a science vessel with EMP right there, and I still don't see any High Templar or anything but just pure gateway units. The Vulture streaming down to the 4 o'clock location, making short work of this Nexus here, forcing a cancellation. So Tucson now down to two bases versus the three from Tucson. I think I said Tucson there instead of Jedi One. The Dragoon's at least able to encapsulate this Vulture Force, but not before they're able to shove their way into the third and get some bonus pro kills. Tucson is just bullying his way around the map right now, and he's got more coming. Things are looking dire for Jedi One. Stargate finally coming online. Been a long time before there was anything but 
I don't know that Jedi One's going to be able to stop Tucson from just walking in and pinning him into two bases. It looks like another Nexus, kind of a desperation Nexus being grabbed at the four o'clock location. Zealots on the front. It is going to be a hard task for Jedi One to go ahead and defend this six o'clock base, let alone, let alone that four o'clock base, which is completely exposed on that side of the field. Fortunately for him, Tucson is being a little bit negligent and not grabbing additional bases while he's got this massive amount of control. It looks like we do have a single Dragoon kind of patrolling out there. Not that he needs to at this stage. He's actually got a decent bank, and he can kind of do all that as an afterthought. Shuttle moving forward, looking to drop a High Templar, maybe get a decent side storm. Shuttle dies before anything unloads, though. It looks like a side storm. Never mind. High Templar got out there, was able to side storm a little bit, soften up those Goliaths. Everything is dead on the high ground with that initial wave, but a second wave moving in of reinforcements, and it looks like Jedi 1 going to be able to encapsulate this attack force. Tucson, despite being up 60 supply, looks like a majority of that might just be in workers and workers alone. So the, despite the supply disadvantages, Jedi 1 actually might have a larger standing army. Mines blowing up on siege tanks, yeah, taking out some zealots with them, but at a heavy cost. However, Vulture is able to swing in, plant some mines. It's gonna be a minute before they can take this Nexus down in the smaller numbers. That is going to redirect the Dragoons to go ahead and defend. They're walking across some minefields as they're making their way back across. These zealots also getting very, very weak. And there's also a lot of mines in the way. The Observer is leading to go ahead and do some clearage. Still some firing. It looks like the Dragoon's able to deal with that. The Vulture's gonna slide through, work on that probe line. The problem now for here is the lifeblood from Jade One. You know, I would say that, that his lifeblood in minerals was reducing, but it looks like he's actually doing a pretty decent job of maintaining a bank and macroing behind this. There are more siege tanks out for Tucson. But now, as I look at it, you do the math, there's about 50, there's almost like a 50 supply worker difference, which means actually the army is just about even. And Jedi One somehow still has minerals coming in in sufficient numbers, despite the fact that he's really only mining on two bases. So potentially oversaturation for Tucson off three bases, but this is still gonna turn into a long-term starvation match overall. Vultures and siege tanks waiting now for what I'm going to assume is going to be the game-defining moment here. We got some Zelts and Dragoons, lack of High Templar I'm seeing out on the field. Again, just trying to get it done from with Gateway units. That's kind of how Jedi One's been playing up to this stage, running in headlong into Vultures that are clearing out the Zealots before they're even able to engage an attack force. A lot looks like more units actually bunched up. Another command center finally being grabbed by Tucson, kind of doing it at his leisure. Single probes <laughs> snuck out to the 12 o'clock. A nice wall of red in the form of mines. And this is, I think, the first Arbiter I've seen out in the field. Does he even have... I'm going to assume Stasis is upgraded. But that's the first Arbiter this entire game. We're at the 23-minute mark. Tucson peeling forward. Some siege shanks engaging a little bit too far forward. Science vessels not with this attack grouping. Actually, never mind. Two science vessels towards the forward location. Troops eating some mines. Comsat being dropped. And again, a funnel location. Tucson choosing his battle location well. And Jade One driving headlong into troops and nothing left underneath. Some High Templar on the high ground, and that is going to be it. Realizing there's just too much there, too many upgrades, too strong an economic lead. Jedi One's going to call GG. Tucson's going to take the lead in the series 2-1. to one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.